Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel from Coralus, and I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. It's been a while since I've been able to publish a video for you guys. I miss everyone, and I've been dying to get back on my feet. I did injure myself over the holiday and was kind of bedridden and one-armed, and it's, like I said, it's been a tough couple weeks getting back on my feet. So the tanks are looking great, though. No worries there. Fish are happy, corals are happy. Um, we did some awesome work. We built these tops, these canopies, which I really love because they hold the light in. When you're just sitting here observing the corals, it just looks so much nicer. Um, you know, I love it. And I just found out there's a new paint out there that's actually called like a Black 2.0, and it absorbs all light, so it's just pretty awesome. And I'm gonna be testing that out in the future cannot wait so the tanks looking like I said pretty awesome I'm pretty happy with everyone um, let's see one of the things that I wanted to show everybody is that I'm working on some cleanup crews some refugium packs some different macro algaes testing in different lights trying to grow it just so I have all the facts for everyone since People always question me, like, can you grow it in this light? Can you grow it in this light? And I'm like, nah, I don't know. But now I will know, and I will have answers for you guys. So I'm working on those. And over here, this is our, I guess, coral transport system for the show. We're doing a frag show at that fish place this Saturday in Lancaster. So if you guys are nearby, come check us out. There's tons of frags. So a lot of people will be there. Um, a lot of hobbies, so very cool. So anyway, so I made some of these racks and they stack on top of each other, so I'll put the frags in these racks and then they'll stack them here and then they will go into the buckets and then they'll be all nice and safe. Uh, you tip them upside down if you had to or something, you know, and we're safe. So, more updates, let's see. Um, so sad with me not being able to get out of bed. I killed the Poseidon system. I came down and it was no longer green, it was yellow. Um, so that was kind of nasty and I'm so sorry about that. So I will have to start a new culture again. I have some in the fridge, maybe I can bring it back to life. I don't know if that's possible yet since it's been in the fridge for a while and I will go shake that. But if I can bring it back to life, I may try to start a culture from the fridge one. So. I do love those canopies, they look awesome, they really make me happy when I'm staring at the tanks. Like I said, it just, it's just so pleasing to me now to have this stuff done. Plus it quiets it down. Man, those canopies quiet it down. One more thing I'm happy to be able to scratch off my to-do list is I now have an individual breaker and outlets for each tank. So I can separate my heaters and my pumps. and. It's just so much easier to control and organize. That way, if there is ever a problem, um, it's easier to fix. And something else cool that I'm pretty happy with, I put a line in for the RODI system that goes all the way around behind uh, tanks. And I have a float that's in here. So that float, which you can't see through here at the moment, is, I'll show you on this one is the water top off system. So I'm pretty proud of that. And I did have a faux pas. Um, they're actually, one of them was defective and from the factory had a piece of dirt or something or drilled in there, or whatever. So I'm gonna show you guys on a Tip Tuesday something that I learned putting that together. But those floats are awesome. I could have another couple outlets just for the auto top off units and I hate sensors, snails, something gets in there, gets knocked over, flood your system. Those floats, as long as you check them and service them regularly, you should never have a problem. So they all connect for all my auto top offs. It's just a quarter line tube and this 55 gallon drum of RDI water that runs through these filters. So I think my battery's dying guys. I just wanted to give you a quick um, refresh. I'll get back to you shortly, more information. I'm doing okay, thank you to those of you who reached out and asked how I was, since you're worried about, um, you haven't heard from me in a while. But as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. More to come.